got the Lenovo Mix uh, 700 here on uh, my left, your right, and on my right, your left is the Surface Pro 3. The test I'm going to run now is a long term, so 10 minute render test. So I'm using Cyberlink Power Director here, same files loaded into Power Director, and what we'll do is we'll render those out at uh, a full 1080 resolution uh, at 50, 50 frames per second. And the reason we want to do that is two things really. Firstly, I want to see how the heat buildup compares on this Mix 700 to the Surface Pro 3 that has a known heat problem when it goes under load for a long time, it actually starts a down clock. Um, it will also give us an idea how powerful this Core M device is. This is a 6Y50, I believe, which clocks up to 2.7 gigahertz um, with single core, and I think 2.4 with dual core. Against the Core i5 Haswell generation, so that's two generations ago, um, to see whether the two actually compare. Well, I've done this a number of test, times, this test. And we're doing it now from, not from cold, but these were both cold and they've both been switched on. They both had the same uh, stuff running in the background, the same apps running. There's slightly more background apps on the Mix 700, but we'll see. The other thing to note, fanless here, and we've got a fan here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kick off the test and we'll just run this uh, forward at uh, double speed or whatever and, and get to the end and, and see what we have in terms of results, in terms of heat and in terms of performance. Right then, so as I said, Power Director. 12. Let's just bring the mic there so you can hear me properly. Um, and I'm going to put the preview on. We've got the same settings there. Hopefully you can see the same settings uh, on the setup there. And what I'll do is hopefully we'll hit the start button at the same time for both and let those run through. Now the preview will show you which device is uh, fastest. Don't take the first five, ten seconds as indication because I may have started them at the wrong time. There's the Mix 700 slightly ahead. So let's fast forward this, see what results we get. Right, at this stage of the game, you can see uh, we're about uh, 10 to 20% into the render, the Surface Pro 3 slightly ahead. And as you'd expect, it's a slightly faster clocking device as well. There's also a lot more... Um, built for a lot more thermal overhead this platform as well but at some point this service pro 3 will start to hit up heat up and it will start to down clock so uh, we'll see in the next part whether the lenovo 700 mix 700 catches up so let's leave that running So that's the Surface Pro 3 finish there. And if you actually notice some of that fast forwarding, you'll notice that the Lenovo Mix 700 caught up a little bit. There was a point there where it was about a minute behind and we're literally about 30 seconds behind now. Now what's happened is the Surface Pro 3 has heated up massively and is uh, the fans are on and it's actually started to down clock. Uh, the Lenovo Mix uh, 700 has a similar warmth in the top left, just slightly less, maybe a few degrees. Uh, obviously no fan in this, so we haven't got any noise coming from it as well. So the interesting thing is if we were to run this test again, which would win? So let's do that right now. Right, we'll let that run through and uh, we'll have a look, see what happens given the fact that the Surface Pro 3 is already pre-warmed. The Lenovo Mix 700 too, but uh, I think based on my previous testing that the Mix 700 is gonna beat the Surface Pro 3 in this test. Let's fast forward to that. So that's the Surface Pro 3 coming to the end there. Um, total time, total time there was 10 minutes, 42 seconds, which is not bad actually, because I've actually seen the Surface Pro 3 in this test, and I've done this test many times, take up to 14 minutes. Just wondering, the ambient temperature here, 19.4 degrees is not really uh, a warm room temperature, which can be 21, 22, even 23 degrees. So it might be that previous tests I've done 
uh, on this, which haven't been in this room, have been done at a warmer temperature. However, the Lenovo, the Lenovo, 11 minutes, six seconds. So only 20 seconds behind. And I think the point here is that Core M, latest generation, Skylake generation, this is the 6Y5, um, 6Y50, and this is the Core uh, i5, Haswell generation, both four gigs of RAM, both with fast SSDs. The, the uh, Mix 700 is keeping up with the Surface Pro 3 and making less noise. Just feeling the backs of the two devices now. Both very much the same sort of heat, just in this area behind there. So, so that's pretty interesting. Um, I think if you were to put the Surface Pro 3 into a warmer room, only by a couple of de degrees, it would clock back quite dramatically. I've seen it clock back to 700 megahertz in some situations. So maybe here we're at that sort of point, 19 degrees, where the Surface Pro 3 is able to get enough airflow around itself to, uh, to keep going at a fairly high rate. And I just want to mention that I have done this test in a warmer environment, and I have seen the Mix 700 beat the Surface Pro 3, and I've seen the Surface Pro 3 run up to 14 minutes on this test with the Lenovo coming in very consistently at around that 10, 11 minute mark. So that's pretty good. So that's a, just a just one test showing you a little bit about heat, a little about the comparisons between Haswell generation and uh, Skylake generation Core M, which is starting to look good for um, full HD video editing and low-end PC gaming, very low-end PC gaming, and um, is able to, to hold its own against Haswell Core i5, which was a 15-watt TDP GPU. Remember, this is a, a 4-watt uh, TDP GPU in there, and obviously operating in fanless mode. Thank you for, got, uh, for watching. If you've got questions, uh, put them in the comment section on the YouTube video below. Don't forget to like the video if you got something out of it. Stay tuned. We'll have the Mix 700 uh, video review up for you soon. And subscribe and you'll get notifications of that in your mailbox when we upload it. We'll see you on the next Network Check Tech Review.